Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. And I'm Jordan Arcus. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 11. The big story tonight, day four of the first official heat wave of the season. Temperatures in our region have been downright unbearable and at times dangerous. That's right, but is the worst now behind us? Our top story tonight. From the Pacific Northwest to the Northeast, extreme heat is gripping the nation. On the street, workers pushing through the intense heat wave with little relief. Local fire crews battling a mobile home fire Wednesday evening in the extreme heat. The home located on Sherman Avenue in Southport. Those who live there grabbing their pets and getting out safely. Firefighters from Elmira and Southport trying to keep cool as they battle that blaze. Many throughout the region looking for any way to stay cool. For the children now done with school, splash pads and local pools are some of the ways they beat the heat. It's been very busy. It's we opened the 28th on Monday, so this is our third day open, and it has been packed because it's been over 95 degrees all three days, and um, kids are coming out. Medical experts say there are many risks to prolong exposure to high heat, ranging from mild burns to even organ damage. High heat is we, we're not specifically necessarily heat, but direct sun exposure is when we talk about sun. When your losses exceed your intake, you're looking at dehydration. Mild symptoms such as dry mouth to a whole range of clinical spectrum where you can have kidney shutdown and organ damage from, from low volume and even shock and death. Experts also warn that it is important to know the signs of heat exhaustion, which can quickly turn to heat stroke. Some of those symptoms include sweating, rapid heart rate, lightheadedness, headache, and muscle cramps. If you're feeling any of these symptoms, you should find a place to rest, drink water, and move to a cooler environment. So is this heat wave finally over? Chief Meteorologist Shelby Clark will join us in a matter of moments with your full 18 storm team forecast and some answers to that big question.